Hello everyone, and welcome back to Piccadilly. Now this isn't a general uh, release video from the channel, this is more aimed um, for Chris Carter in um, Australia, who's having a few issues with his Deltic, and um, trying to help him to get it sorted. Now what you do, Chris, is you pop the bogey out, and I've literally just pulled it sort of like that, and the whole bogey's come out, okay? And then just apply gentle pressure on holding that bit there, the tower, and then apply gentle pressure down and the bogey frame comes off, okay? Keep that to one side. And then the wheels come out literally just by going like that. And you need to remove all of those three with sets of wheels there. And it's, oops, I will show you. It's that bit you want. Okay, and unfortunately, the way these are made, they're soldered in, these brass strips are soldered on, so you can't gain access easily to the gears inside. There are pins there which do push out, and I suppose if you were careful enough, you could insert another gear, but it is so fiddly to do that. And these are about a tenner, 12 quid, something like that. I think they might vary from locomotive to locomotive, but Generally speaking, it's just easy to get another one from Farish. Um, just phone Batman Europe, go to the sales, no, go to the um, service department, the spares department, tell them what model you've got, and they'll just send you another one. Um, being in Australia, you might have to pay a bit more for the postage mine, but I guess you're used to that though, aren't you? Um, anyway, to pop them back in, they literally just pop back over the top, but what you do need to be careful of is make sure you don't snag the brass. So make sure the wheels are clearly over. Once that's in, just give it a bit of a snap. Now it's these brass uh, pickups that are the problem, so you do need to be really, really careful. Well, I've got one side, so I'm literally just gonna snap one side in. Actually, that one's gone in well. Make sure the brass fitting's behind the, the wheel flange. And again on that one, and just make sure it's behind there. Those those um, pickups do need to be touching um, the back of the wheels. So periodically I give everything a bit of a clean. This one does look as if it's in need of a bit of a service in a bit of a disgusting condition, um, as is that I'm afraid. But anyway, like I was trying to say on the video, you've got two different clips. Sometimes they're two like that. I hope you can see that there, Chris. You've got two little clips. One's, they're both, normally both like that, but one's wider than the other. So you have to get this in the right way round. Um, but this one seems to have two little lugs. So I'm looking which end that could be. And as I see it there, that's the coupling end. So that one pops in there. Two little lugs go in there and just snaps back in. And then you just line that back up to the center and push. There you are, job done. Okay, hope that was helpful, Chris, and um, you get yours sorted out. Thanks, then. Bye.